We could not find any videos on how to remove a hook from a cat's mouth, so we had to do it, so we figured we'd share it. The boat cover blew off of our boat with a northern that came through, and there were some exposed hooks with some uh, fish bites lures on them that have stink and smell, and this cat had to have one. We tried to give her Benadryl, but she couldn't eat with the hook in her mouth. So I reached out to my daughter-in-law. She said, swaddle the cat. I have no idea how to swaddle them. So we looked it up. It takes two towels and you gotta make sure they're super tight around the neck so no claws get out. Okay. <laughs> You're the one that got us into this mess, so let's swaddle you. Okay. Get it tight around the neck and bring this side over. Make sure you get it tight around the neck so she can't get her claws out. I'm gonna wrap it that way. She looks excited. Yo, she's thrilled to death, right? And then the same thing, tied around the neck, and you're gonna wrap it the other way. And this actually keeps them calm, and it keeps those claws from getting to you. Now she is swaddled. There's a cat burrito. Swaddled. There's a cat burrito. Cat burrito. <laughs> Another thing we did was make sure that it wasn't hooked into her jawbone because that would require a vet. It was just in her mouth, the meat of her mouth. We've removed a lot of hooks on people, especially my wife, on me. And she does this trick where you loop fishing line around the base of the hook and you push down on the eye and you snatch. But this cat, his head was very flexible and movable. So I had to use needle nose pliers and make that the solid foundation because that cat's head's moving. I was preparing to snatch it out by getting the needle nose pliers at the very base of the hook at the curve where it connected to the mouth. And with her movement, she actually made the gap wider and it popped right out. We are happy to report that Carol Ann Baskin is recovering well and she's being comforted by her big brother, Mr. Joe Exotic.